Well, some of your holiday shopping items, as you heard, we dis heard us discussing, may be delayed by supply chain bottlenecks at places like the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Workers who help move our goods every day are trying to clear a huge backlog of containers. Carter Evans got an inside look at the unloading operation. With a record number of containers piled high at the ports of L.A. and Long Beach, idle cranes may be a surprising sight. There's no room in the yard to offload a vessel. Local longshoreman union president Ramon Ponce de Leon took us dockside to explain why it now takes so much longer to unload these ships. It's normally cooking around here. Everybody's moving, but because there is no space in the yard, there's not that much we can offload. So that's why we're not seeing a lot more cranes moving around. That's correct. Increased consumer spending during the pandemic led to even more imports clogging up the ports. Do you guys take pride in the amount of containers you can move? Oh, definitely. It's, it's, it's like a game. It's a challenge. It's fun, you know. Crane operator Rick McCray used to work a lot faster. How long would it take you in general to unload a ship like this? Probably three and a half, four days. How long is it taking now? It's taking about nine, sometimes longer. He can only unload a container when there's a place to put it. 20 million of these. 20 million. Going to come through these ports. Come through the ports. Ponce de Leon showed us row after row piled high. You may think these trucks line up for the first load available, but that is not the case. They are here for specific containers, and sometimes they're in the middle of the pile. It's like a giant game of Jenga. Move four containers just to get to one on the bottom. How long are these containers waiting here on average now, do you know? The dwell time here is over nine days. Add that to the time it now takes to offload, and it could be 18 days before these containers even leave the dock. Yeah. The new infrastructure law has $17 billion earmarked for the nation's ports, and longshoremen say spending on port rail improvements will help. We can load in about a five hour period, about 300 containers on a rail. These are big money projects that take a long time. Yes, they do. Just this week, the U.S. Navy announced it would allow containers to be stored at the Port Wyneme Naval Base. Welcome news to longshoremen. Whatever it takes to give us some fluidity, some breathing space in the terminals so we can move the containers a lot faster. Meanwhile, the White House says many big box retailers are promising to schedule more overnight pickups. If they commit to pick up containers, then we will be able to move these and catch back up. But until then, it's not going to happen. For CBS Mornings, I'm Carter Evans in Long Beach.